thanks for tuning in this is dr mavis and i really appreciate you i hope you've subscribed and you've shared with your community to also subscribe in the session i want to talk about restoring restoring we are storytellers we constantly are telling ourselves stories whether it is through self-talk whether it is you know talking to other people but did you know that we talk to ourselves more than we talk to other people we talk to ourselves about our situations about other people more than we actually talk to other people so i'm talking about re-stories how do we rewrite narratives that define us narratives that define us and why is that critical why is that important um you know that when you know when when you you have gone through life there are many stories that that you tell about you you you, you can even tell a story about your background you can tell about you can talk uh, tell a story about some of the maybe negative circumstances that you've gone through you can tell a story about the positive things that have happened in your life um, but a lot of the times we don't actually pause to determine how do i want to tell this story or can i tell this story differently and here's the thing story the story we tell determine the emotions we experience the story we tell determine the emotions that we experience but the nice thing is that we are the storyteller we are the news anchor meaning if i'm telling a story that evo that is evoking dominantly negative emotions i can choose to retell that story in a way that is empowering in a way that is less um you know um, you know less disempowering or you know provoking negative emotions so we constantly need to define or constantly need to pause and say if you have a story in your life that is constantly provoking or evoking negative emotion how do you tell that story in a way that allows you to release the emotional charge that is contained in the story that you are telling so that you can redefine the narrative you can redefine the meaning that you are giving to the story that has happened to you and here's the thing our brains are um you know are, are wired or you know the way we get conditioned sometimes is that we can hold on to the negative even though we've actually been able to succeed and go beyond um you know this this negative event that we've experienced is actually not holding back let me give you an example as i was preparing for kilimanjaro i was on the west cliff stairs one day i was on my eighth set and i was feeling fatigued and tired and i think you know when you are under pressure and you're tired it's easy to go to the negative and i remember telling a story that i i, I or a story that i experienced when i was 18 years i tried to climb a certain mountain that's very actually low and i didn't quite climb that mountain and i remember at west cliff stairs reminding myself why are you even bothering because you at 18 when you were younger you had high energy but you still failed to climb a smaller mountain here's what happened under pressure i went to the negative experience and skipped all the positive experience that i've had i had been able to climb table mountain twice but my brain went to the 18 year old instead of going to the now 40 plus year old woman that has done different things and been able to achieve certain things so it's important so when i caught myself telling that negative story i realized it was now time to actually restore i needed a line that says you have climbed table mountain and in fact now i can even say i have climbed kilimanjaro to the base camp so the 18 year old story is now you know invalid it's now not relevant so i cannot use it as a story for my own failure or not achieving the goals that i want to achieve when it comes to my health and fitness what are the stories you are telling that you need to retell okay what are the stories you have that you need to retell or restory so that you can find you know energy to move on and continue to pursue your goals thanks for tuning in